In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at a great new plugin, Selective Color from the Video Essentials 5 collection. What this plugin does is pretty much given away in its name, but just in case you haven't worked it out yet, Selective Color lets you choose up to two colors from your image and then display only those colors in the final picture, whilst everything else remains in shades of grey. You'll have seen this effect in movies like Schindler's List and Sin City and Pleasantville and the video for Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. There are a number of ways you can achieve this effect using your NLE's built-in effects, but once again, New Blue has scored by making this a ridiculously easy to use plugin, requiring just a couple of clicks to get fantastic results. Let's start by working our way through a simple example to explain the different controls in the Selective Color plugin. We'll use this clip of a bunch of bananas on display in a grocery store. You can see there are just seven controls in the plugin. The first two let you choose the first colour and then dial in a range of similar colours that will be affected. The second two do the same for a second colour. Here we have the soften control and this applies a blur to the colour ranges selected and helps to reduce colour noise and to fill in any gaps. This is the strength control which at zero has no effect and at 100 means that only the selected colours will be displayed with everything else being shown in shades of grey. Finally, the Show Masks checkbox, which lets you view the selected colour mask only. That's very useful for identifying areas you may otherwise have missed. So let's get started by selecting our first colour. Quite obvious which colour it's going to be. You'll notice it's had no effect yet, and that's because I haven't adjusted the strength control. If I do that now and turn it full on, you can see the result straight away. But this isn't exactly the result I'm looking for. It's still showing the green of the crates and the pink of the skin. And overall, it's looking a bit washed out. But if I increase the range ever so slightly, the rich yellow of the bananas starts to come through, while everything else stays grey. There are still a few muddy areas on the bananas, though, because of things like shadows. If I raise the range, we start to see other areas showing through, which I don't want. So what I can do here is to use the second colour picker to select those areas, raise the range a fraction until just before it reveals the skin colouring, and there you go, much better. Now I can use the Show Masks control to look at precisely which areas are selected. That back wall looks a bit noisy to me, and there's some reflection on the plastic cases which I'd like to lose. Now this is where the Soften control helps. With Show Masks still activated, look what happens when I soften the mask much less unwanted colour noise in the image. And if I click off the Show Masks control, you can see the subtle effect it's had on the picture. So there you have it, Selective Colour from New Blue's Video Essentials 5 collection, a great way to get effective results quickly and easily. Use it on flower displays, on the beach, anywhere there are distinctive colours you want to highlight. And when you use it in conjunction with other plugins, you can get some really very cool results indeed.